Today I'm going to change the 12 volt battery in my BMW i3. The battery I'm going to use is the Remy Aux 18 out. If the 12 volt battery goes bad on a BMW i3, it bricks the car. Although that can be fixed at the dealership, it's cheaper and easier to just replace the battery before that happens. Sometimes after four or five years, you'll get some weird electrical glitches from an aging 12 volt battery. So just note the installation date and replace it sooner rather than later. Before I get started, I made sure to charge the new battery to 100%. This is very important because if I didn't charge the battery all the way to 100%, it could also brick the car. I placed this battery on a charger the night before to make sure that it's topped off before installation. First, I'm going to make sure that the car is off. So next, I'm going to pop the frunk and remove the protective coverings. Next, I'm going to remove the frunk box. There's six total bolts in the frunk when you go to remove it. Four of them are T25 star key hexes, and the two on the bottom are T30 star key hexes. Changing the 12 volt battery in an EV is not the same as changing the 12 volt battery in a normal car. There's an additional safety step that cannot be overlooked. Before I begin, it's very important that I disconnect the high voltage system in order to prevent a potentially fatal electric shock. Next, I'm going to remove the battery bracket with a 10 millimeter socket wrench and an extender. There's two bolts. Be careful not to drop them. The second one, I'm going to need the extender. I'm going to start removing the second bolt. It's in the back at the top of the battery. I had to grab a slightly longer extender for the wrench. Why? Cause it ain't long enough. Oh, oh my God. Be very careful not to drop it, but if you do, a magnet will help a lot. Next, you're going to want to remove the windshield washer filling tube. And you do that by spinning it counterclockwise and lifting up. And then I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the negative battery cable. Once you've loosened the terminal, remove it and then cover it with something insulating so it doesn't short out. Next, I'm going to remove the battery vent hose, which is located in the back of the battery. It's a gray tube. It pulls right out. Okay, there we go. Next, you want to pull the battery out a little bit so you can get that other terminal off. Next, I'm going to remove the positive battery terminal with a 10 millimeter wrench. Next, I'm going to remove my terminal adapters with a T30 star hex. We've got our new battery ready, and now we're going to put our terminal adapters on it. And you just need to hand tighten these. Now we're going to install the new battery and do all the steps in reverse. Now that I have the battery back into place, I'm going to connect the vent hose. Next, I'm going to uncover the negative terminal and reinstall the negative terminal. Next, I'm going to reinstall the battery bracket. I'm 
going to reinstall the windshield washer fluid tube. Now that I'm done working on the electrical system, I'm going to reactivate the high voltage system. When I did that, there's a safety mechanism that prevents it from reconnecting, so I had to pry that out a little bit in order for me to push it back up into the on position. Next, I'm gonna reinstall the frunk and the safety coverings. Now I'm finished with the install, so next I just have to register the battery with the computer. So I have to plug this dongle into the OBD2 port. I'm putting my phone into airplane mode and turning my Bluetooth on for the dongle. Then click connect. Now there's a menu for the 12 volt battery, so I'm gonna click that. The app allows you to check the state of charge. So the brand new battery is at 99%. But at the bottom, it's gonna allow me to register the new battery. So I'm gonna click that. And then it's gonna ask me if the battery is the same size as the old one, and I'm gonna click yes. So it's giving me a prompt. I'm gonna make sure that the car is off, the engine is off, then put the ignition into position two, and that there are already no errors, which there aren't. And then in order to put it into ignition two, you push the start button without pushing the foot brake. So then I'm going to click register. And there you go, it said battery registered successfully.